Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on Thinkorswim and how to remove uh, their volume bars or their volume indicator. Uh, now, the reason why uh, people might want to re uh, remove uh, the volume bars is if they want more charts on their screen. Um, again, volume is extremely important uh, when trading. But I like to have multiple charts set up on my screen. So I'm going to show you um, with just this chart set up and then one with a bunch of charts on it. Actually, I'll show you that right now to show you the difference. I'll move it up. I have a multiple screen set up. So you'll see right here, you'll see a whole bunch of charts here. And you'll see the volume overlay on this. So I do a lot of uh, intraday trading. And this could be extremely distracting to see all the volume like this. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to remove it. There's actually technically not a way to remove it, but there's a workaround around it. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm going to show you right here on this type, ch type of chart setup just to show it a little bit cleaner first. I'm going to remove the drawings uh, to show you the different uh, ways to be able to do this. So, number one, you go up here to studies. So you want to do this for each chart and however you want it set up. But you go up to studies and go to edit studies. And right here, you can add a volume indicator in here if you want. But I actually have mine, so you can go in here and type in here under studies, and um, I don't ever really go in here and do this, but you can, you know, do stuff here and add studies over here. But this one is kind of by default because if you go up here to the toggle wheel here and click on appearance, you'll see I have my color as timbal or color as symbol ticks. Uh, so you'll see the color of my volume bars are the color of my candlestick. So that's, you know, how I have it set. But the problem is you can't remove it here. So this is really frustrating. Like, let's say if I want to have more space on my chart and I didn't want volume for whatever reason, the only workaround around that is to do this. You want to go up here to uh, the uh, toggle wheel again and you want to see and go over to um, volume overlap or overlap volume and you want to click on it so when you click apply and hit ok now it's in the in the screen so now you're gonna be like well that's really annoying that completely defeated the purpose uh, but i'm going to show you a workaround so now the bars are in here but you're missing this box is gone so what you need to now do is go up to the toggle wheel up here again click on it click on appearance and come down over to here and you're gonna see preset color. So click it, hit apply, and now you're gonna be, well, wait a second, they're blue here. Well, that's why you wanted to stay in the toggle wheel under appearance, go over to preset color, click on it, click more, click the white box, and uh, you click a white color, which is the back of the screen, or whatever your screen is. If you have it a black background, click on black. If you have it gray, click on gray. I have a white background, so I'm uh, choosing a white color. So make whatever your volume color uh, bars are, or whatever your background screen is, make the volume bars that color. So you'll see when I click on white, hit OK, apply, and OK, you'll see it's gone here. So the volume bars are gone, and I have a clean chart. So um, I'm not going to save that right now because I, I have a whole bunch. You'll see a bunch of different charts set up this way. Um, so now it's back here. I went, and now it's back to normal. So now let me go and show you up here how to do it with multiple screens here uh, so when I'm intraday trading and I want to you know I have like four or five screens set up so having a few charts at one time uh, to be able to look at is very convenient but this is super distracting all these volume uh, bars so now what you're gonna see is uh, at this point it's already made it one chart for me so if you go into here uh, this toggle wheel uh, it actually doesn't even say overlap volume because it makes it all into one chart for me because uh, I have a lot on this chart. So at this point, I'm going to click on overlap volume, hit OK or apply. And now I'm going to go up to appearance, come down to here, click on preset color, click on it, change it to white, click on it, OK, apply, OK. So now it's gone. And I will do that a few times here. Hit apply, go up to appearance, preset color, change it um, over here. Click OK, apply OK. And I'm just going to keep doing that here for a moment. So just bear with me as I do this. 
because uh, I'm actually doing this for myself um, as well. So I'm actually going to save this because I'm wanting to do this. I just learned this today with Thinkorswim. There's always something you can learn uh, with doing this type of stuff. So I called Thinkorswim. Their customer service is phenomenal. Uh, they showed me this workaround uh, today. You would think that you could just remove the indicator, but you can't. So this is it. But my uh, charts are becoming cleaner now as I do this. Oops, uh, let me go back up to here. So I X'd out, but the bars are still there. So I want to go back to appearance. Click here to preset color. Click here, more, go to the colors, change it to white, apply. And as you can see, my charts are getting a little bit more cleaner for me to look at. And a couple more here. So now it just makes it a lot. So you can see here, it's just cleaner, it's a lot less jumble, a lot less colors to look at. Uh, again, overlap volume, appearance, preset color, click on it, change it to white. Here we go, apply, here we go. I'm talking to myself here as I do this. And here we go. I love the Thinkorswim platform. It's just, it's just hands down the best platform that's out there. Uh, I like other brokers for different things. You know, I like interactive brokers for uh, for shorting because Thinkorswim is terrible for shorting. If they could ever do uh, get locates of shorts like everybody else, they would be unstoppable. But for whatever reason, they don't want to short or they don't do shorting um, like other brokers do. So you'll see it here much cleaner now. And now I'm just having my I have my charts set up. You'll see here. Uh, I was just uh, doing some uh, trading this morning and looking at support and resistance. So I'll clean these up here. Uh, see if I have any other ones, clear drawing set. So there you go. So you'll see here, I have three charts. I have my one minute, my five minute, and my daily. I do, again, a lot of intraday trading. So now I can watch three charts on one screen at one time. Um, so I am gonna go up and I am going to now click up here and I'm going to go save grid as because you always want to save what you're doing. I have mine as momentum three by three cell. That's just what I titled it. I hit save and voila, everything is saved for you. So uh, that's how you basically remove the volume bars without technically removing the volume bars. There's three steps. Obviously, you want to go back up here again. Click on the toggle wheel. Uh, actually, you want to go up to studies, hit edit studies. Make sure there's nothing in your volume. Uh, studies first. If there is, remove it. Hit apply and then OK. And then the next thing you want to do is click uh, the toggle wheel. Uh, you know, just double check if overlap volume is checked off or on and just reverse it uh, if one of them is checked off. And then uh, you go to appearance and then you just change it over here. Just change the preset color to whatever the background color of your screen is. Hit OK. And then again, just remember to go up here to the charts, click Save Grid As, and save your charts. So uh, hopefully that video helped you. Uh, if you are not a member of our community yet on Facebook, we do have a community of traders from around the world. We have over 12,000 members, and we're growing by about at least 100 members a day right now. It's absolutely crazy. We're the pretty much the number one group on Facebook right now for the term stocks and stock market. So we're absolutely rocking and rolling. Come over and uh, join us over on Bullish Bears, or you can head over to our website directly at bullishbears.com or click the link below in the video and uh, just click on our banner here to come and join us.